In lab 5, you're going to add the pest enemies. You're going to add the pests to the game and then create events so that they appear at certain times and shoot poison at the ships. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the pest object and the poison object. Okay, I'm going to drag this down and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag up my pest object and put it below the stage just like this. Next I'm going to drag up my poison object and drag it down below my stage. Now we just have to change their settings so I'm going to click on the pest enemy and I'm up here on the display options so I'm going to look for my runtime options this is um, triangle right here I click this and I come on down to the inactivate if too far see that it's on automatic so I just change that to no and the same thing with the poison Inactivate if too far? No. Okay, just turn those two settings off. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the pet, the bases and put them up there. So I'm just going to drag up my base here and put it up here. And I'm going to do this five more times. Now I'm going to put these on the right and space them out. just like that. Now I want to make the base objects invisible so I just make sure one of them selected. So now I go to the base uh, the properties toolbar and the display options which looks like a computer screen with arrows on it right here. And then I take the check mark out of visible at start. It's going to make them all invisible. To make the pests appear, now I need to make an event that shoots the pest object randomly out of one of the bases every second. This event will have two conditions. One of the conditions will be a timer condition that tells the action to happen once every second. The other condition will be a pick or count condition that picks at random base object. When you add the action that shoots the pest object. Okay, now I'm going to go into the event editor view event editor I'm going to make a new condition right click then I'm going to right click the timer and then I'm going to click every so I'm going to make sure it says one second then I'm going to click OK so now I have a new condition every one second okay now I'm going to create a new condition in the every one second so I'm going to right click and click insert in the new condition dialog box, I'm going to right click the base object and then I'm going to click pick or count. And then I'm going to pick base at random. So a new condition called pick one of base is added to every one second row. So now I'm going to the base column. Now I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to click a shoot an object. In the shoot an object dialog box, I'm going to click the pest object, then click OK. So I'm going to make sure that speed is 50. So type in 50. So now I'm going to go shoot in selected directions. So now I'm going to click uh, the 9 o'clock position, take out the 12 o'clock. So that's the direction we want the poison to shoot. I click OK. I click OK again. And then I run a test. Let's see how this looks. So you test it and you see that the pests are coming at you one per second. That's what you're supposed to see. If you didn't see any pests move towards your ship, make sure that your pest objects were in the frame three. Okay? Make sure that you had added the uh, bases on the frame three.
Okay, and make sure that the first number that appears is a 3. If not, drag them from the play area to the 3 in the layers toolbar. If you have a problem with this, just contact me and I can help you. So next we're going to uh, create a timer condition for the poison. We're going to click, right click a new condition. We're going to right click the timer and we're going to put every and every one second. We're going to delete the one out of every second. Put a zero in there. And we're going to put in every half second. We're, so we're just going to be a 50 in here. So every half second, we're going to click OK. So that means every half of a second, something's going to happen. We're going to shoot the poison. Okay, so. We're going to click Insert. Now we're going to right click the pest. We're going to click Pick or Count. Then we're going to click Pick Pest at Random. Now I'm going to add a shooting object for the poison. So I'm going to pick one in the, um, the pest row, the pest column. Hey and I click pick uh, shoot an object. So I'm going to click the poison object and click OK. Next to speed and make sure that's 100. And I'm going to shoot in selected directions. Click that. And then I'm going to erase everything. Click that. And then I'm going to click next to 16 or 9 o'clock, right? Then I click OK. Now I go click OK again. Now I just test my game. Click Run Application. There you go. And if you don't see this, just go back and follow directions. Now what we're going to do is we're going to complete these steps to destroy the pests when they leave the play area on the left. I just right clicked um, a new condition in the event editor. So in my new condition dialog box here, I right click the pest object. Then I click the test the position of the um, pest. In this dialog box, I'm going to click the leaves on the left. So when he's leaving the play area right here, right? So what do I want to happen? I want him to be destroyed. So I'm going to right click here. And I'm going to come over here, destroy. So now I'm going to destroy the poison. So I'm going to come down here. So I have to do the same thing for the poison. I just right click to new condition. And now I'm going to um, right click the poison object and click position. Then I can click test position of poison. When he leaves the playing area on the left, I want to destroy him. So I click OK. So I click here. And I click destroy. There you go. So now we test the game. So now when they run off the left here, the pests are being destroyed and so are the poisons. So now we're starting lab 6. In lab 6 we track points and lives and we'll add objects to our game that keep track of the player's score and the number of lives. Now once again what we're going to do is we're going to create a condition. We're going to right click the uh, bullet 1 object. That's this one. So I opened, right clicked and opened up a new condition. So I'm right clicking the bullet, one object, then I click collisions uh, with another object. So I'm going to click the pest object and I click OK. So now I got a new condition called collision between the bullet and the pest object. So what do I want to happen? So I want to destroy the pest. So I right click here under Pest, and I click Destroy. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the bullet too. Um, I right click New Condition, and um, I right click Bullet 2 Object, then I click Collision with another object. Uh, so I'm going to click the Pest Object, and click OK. 
So in this collision between this bullet two and the pest object, I right click the pest object and I click destroy. Just like we do with the other one. So we're going to test uh, to make sure that the bullets kill the pests. They think that's necessary. So let's shoot. That killed the pest. Now I need to add a score object to the game. So I'm going to go on the uh, back up here. And I'm going to add a score object to the game. But make sure 3 is selected. We just don't want the score object to scroll. So now I click insert, then I click new object. So I click games. And now I choose my score object. I just click OK and click to place it any place in the play area. So we don't want to put it in the black on black. It's probably a good idea to put it in um, maybe around the rocks or something. So now I'm going to change the font and color of the score object. So all I do is I um, click this. Then I'm going to come over here to my <clears throat> properties and settings toolbar. And see where it says numbers. So I'm just going to click text. And then I'm going to go into my text box here, and I'm going to choose REL, and maybe do something I like better. And then maybe I'll make it bigger size. Click OK. And I can come on down, and I can click and change this color. Now I think I can put this up here a little further. I think that's a good place for it. Now I need to add a point to the score when the bullets hit the pest, so I need to go to the event editor. So I'm just going to right click two player game and I'm going to go down to the event editor. Um, I gotta, in the collision between bullet one and the pest row, I'm going to right click uh, the player one column. I'm going to click add to score. Then I'm just going to put one here and go OK. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the bullet two. Now watch, I'm still using the player one. That's because we're using the player one score for both of them. So I click add to score and I put in one because we're using one score object. So they're both going to go under his score. So now I just test the game, make sure that works. So now what I'm going to do is add uh, two lives to the game frame. So I'm going to go back to the frame editor. And now I'm going to go to the insert menu. Click new object. I click my lives object here. And um, I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to place this object somewhere near the top left corner of the play area on the top rocks. Now I'm going to add lives for player two. Insert, new object. Click my lives, click OK. Right there, there we go. I make sure the settings icon is selected, which it is. And then I just change the one to a two. Right here, player two. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to create a condition that checks for when the ship two object collides with the pest or the poison. So I'm going to go into my event editor. Right click here, go to event editor. Now I'm going to go in my new condition. And I'm going to right click the ship two object. I'm going to click collisions and then click another object. So I'm going to click the pest object. I click OK. 